Have you ever pondered why evil, a concept so dark and grim, frequently appears in the colorful, vibrant world of animation? It's quite the paradox, isn't it? This mixture of lighthearted whimsy and sinister elements might seem contradictory on the surface. Yet, when we delve deeper, it reveals a fascinating dynamic that is central to the art of storytelling. Evil characters, for instance, are not just there for their menacing laughs or terrifying looks. They play a crucial role in driving the narrative forward, creating conflict and tension that our beloved heroes must overcome. These villains add depth and complexity to the story, challenging our heroes and often forcing them to grow and evolve. Moreover, they provide an opportunity for animators to creatively explore the darker shades of their palette, both literally and metaphorically. So, it's safe to conclude that evil in animation isn't a modern phenomenon, it's been present since the dawn of the medium. The genesis of evil in animation can be traced back to its earliest days. The shadows of villainy were cast in the form of characters who were stark contrasts to our beloved heroes. These were the figures who added spice to the plots, the ones who gave our protagonists a purpose, a reason to fight. In those days, villains were often one-dimensional, their motivations rooted solely in wickedness. They were the embodiment of everything our heroes stood against. These characters were cloaked in darkness, with features exaggerated to caricature their malevolence. They were the figures that lurked in the corners of the frame, waiting to spring their traps. Yet, these early villains, as simplistic as they may have been, were essential. They added the necessary conflict that drove the plot forward, setting the stage for the hero's triumphant victory. As animation evolved, so did the depiction of evil. Modern animation has taken a far more nuanced approach to portraying evil. Instead of simply presenting evil as a monolithic force, modern animation delves into the complexities of its antagonists, creating multi-dimensional characters that challenge our understanding of good and evil. It's not uncommon today to find evil characters who aren't just evil for evil's sake. They have histories, traumas, and motivations that lead them down their dark paths. They're not just caricatures, they're reflections of humanity in all its shades of gray. For instance, consider the character of Zuko from Avatar, The Last Airbender. Initially presented as a villain, the show gradually peels back the layers of his character, revealing a tragic backstory that explains but does not excuse his actions. This evolution in the portrayal of evil has in many ways mirrored societal changes. As society has grown more complex, so too have our stories and our villains. We've come to realize that evil isn't always overt. It can be subtle, insidious, wrapped in a cloak of charm and charisma. The villains in animation have become more sophisticated, more nuanced, and in some ways more terrifying because they reflect the evils we encounter in real life. Furthermore, this evolution reflects a deeper understanding of human nature. We've moved away from the simplistic dichotomy of good versus evil, recognizing that humans are capable of both great kindness and terrible cruelty. We've realized that circumstances, choices, and experiences shape us, for better or worse. In animation, this translates into villains who are more human, more relatable. They're not just obstacles for our heroes to overcome, they're characters in their own right, with their own journeys and struggles. This doesn't make their actions any less evil, but it does make them more understandable, more real. The portrayal of evil in animation has come a long way from the black and white morality of its early days. Today our villains are as complex and multifaceted as our heroes, reflecting the shades of gray that exist within us all. Despite the evolution, the essence of evil remains a constant in the world of animation. Evil, in its many forms, continues to provide the necessary conflict that drives the narratives of our beloved animated features. From nefarious villains to moral quandaries, the presence of evil adds depth to the storyline, building suspense and engaging us, the viewers, in a captivating journey of triumph and defeat. But there's more to it. You see, animation offers a unique platform where we can safely explore moral and ethical dilemmas. It allows us to question what is right and wrong, to challenge our own beliefs, and to understand different perspectives, all within the comfort of our own homes. Through the portrayal of evil in animation, we not only get to enjoy compelling stories but also engage in important conversations about morality and ethics. So, while the face of evil may change, its presence in animation remains as vital as ever.